Hi, for the tester done, this fuel management panel from uh, unidentified aircraft. It seems it could be from a business jet, but I'm not totally sure. Seems to be French made. So I got it from the British eBay. As you can see, it is pretty cute. But some of the buttons here are a little bit uh, worn out and uh, should deserve replacing. So we have uh, two uh, fuel quantity indicators. We have two set of buttons for uh, pumps. So apparently this, this is for a rear tank and this is for a forward tank, it seems. Here the buttons are uh, uh, made with a, a safety in one direction because you can enable them with uh, just uh, like this but to reset them in off position you have to pull them same here you have to pull to move this button on the side so we have two set of two pumps we have a transfer pump with a green transfer light either left or right we have um, caution lights, it seems for filter, fuel filter, pressure, low fuel, high fuel, and same on the other side. It is all for the front panel. Here we have an information about uh, where it came from, or where it was at least, from the Sabena Technics repair station. So, uh, first I was thinking about the Belgian uh, Sabena company, which is not existing anymore, but it seems this uh, website is still on and they are still in business. Uh, we have uh, void warranty sales on the side, I did void them myself. And on the rear, we have two big connectors and we have a Testroid manufacturer sticker. So here it is written Inter, it should be for the French uh, company Intertechnic. We have a date of February and what seems to be a number 8 and nothing left about the model number and serial number. And obviously we are just one screw away from the removal on the cover and I will not do anything else than that removing the cover because this thing is incredibly intricate and should be very complicated to take apart further. So here is what it looks inside. We will start I guess from the connectors. So they are mounted on this back plate which is attached to the front piece with this uh, stacked standoffs. We have big wire looms going to the connectors with a clear heat shrink around the wires. Here we are going to four PCBs and the other part of the wire loom is going to the front to the buttons and lights of course. So you can see the pretty amazing work with the wire looms. So we have on this back panel here two power diodes it seems. Then we have four PCBs. These three ones are the same circuit board but on the front one we mostly have unpopulated parts. The set of components seems to be mostly resistors transistors and capacitors. I do not see any integrated circuit. The last board is different. No idea what they do. Yes, you can see obviously a lot of unpopulated uh, parts on the front one and also a little bit on these ones. Then we have the two uh, indicators bolted to the front. I was uh, wondering before I opened it for the first time if it, there were real aircraft indicators that could be uh, unmounted and unconnected like uh, uh, 
another cockpit uh, aircraft indicator and which was fitted in this panel but not. Since it is a custom job as you can see, we have two things handwritten here for uh, it seems left and right in French. So it looks like this thing was taken apart previously and uh, some repair was made on it. Or modifications and surely enough we have modification uh, checkbox here. What else? So it will not be possible sadly to open this uh, indicators easily to see what we have inside. I believe there will be uh, simple galvanometers anyway. We have uh, push buttons here, you can see. They are going with a push rod to uh, double micro switches each time. Not sure whether it is, uh, this one is a little bit uh, stuck by the way. Not sure if it is uh, for duplicating or just because they are switching two different circuits. Same with the other ones, but these ones are working correctly. We have a nice brass piece here. And it looks that these uh, front buttons here can be popped out and replaced. Then we have the main uh, big buttons made by the uh, ECE company. I already have a lot of stuff from them. It is a famous French brand of uh, military uh, and aeronautical hardware uh, like uh, lights, uh, switches, circuit breakers and such. So uh, you can see they are soldered with uh, two the wires with golden soldering post. Same here, but this button is uh, very different in its layer out. What else? We have a little uh, standoffs here with uh, terminals and uh, in Teflon or something like this. It looks like uh, I have seen similar stuff in uh, Russian equipment. Similar ID. And it is almost everything about the lights on the front panel. Here we have what seems to be little boards with at each time one bulb soldered to it, one little bulb. And here we have wires going in the front panel probably for the backlight. Yes, we have two screws here probably. Uh, but I cannot remove the front panel because the screws are very hard and I do not want to break anything. And in fact, uh, these buttons may need to go. I did uh, have a look, a little bit of poking. I need to unclip this button, but I have a feeling they will break because this one in particular seems very sad condition. So until I don't, I I get uh, replacement buttons, I will not uh, attempt it. I guess because it is a nice uh, piece that I would like to put on display. Uh, where? To put it on display, it is a question, but quite a good looking uh, item and really, really nice construction, as you can see. Uh, no shortage of uh, work hours in this thing, obviously. Even if you want to replace uh, one circuit board or it change, uh, say, uh, this transistor here, look at the work you have to do to access it. Quite uh, Inside this thing, uh, it is uh, error work, obviously. The connectors are made by the famous Suryo company, golden pins here. And it is almost everything. The cover is just a uh, folded piece of aluminium, but I do not see any solder line in this quite hard, uh, maybe here. It is not really easy, yes, yes, here maybe, soldered here, but it is very flat and very well uh, finished. Okay, so this is one more item in my collection. Thanks for watching, bye bye.